Hello everyone. Today in this tutorial we are going to learn more about this sketchup and this is the plan of the ground floor and the plan of other floor will look like this. So let's start. So firstly I will click on this new from the templates and I will select the inches. So firstly we have to import the AutoCAD file. So for this we need to click on this file and click on this import option and then we need to select the destination file. So click on this AutoCAD file format and click on import. So here we have got the plans and click on this top view option. You can use this line tool or you can use the rectangle tool and draw the line over here. So let's start. So by using this rectangle firstly draw the rectangle over here and you can simply drag a rectangle over these portions except in the window portions so you can continue drawing these walls so you need to draw the rectangle all over these surface so follow the same process and you can easily draw all these lines you can also use the line tool so these are our pillar portion and these are the walls portions you can easily draw the lines over here and over these portions and these are our door portion we don't need to draw these circles and don't miss any of these walls and you can also check whether any walls are remaining you can just do is move this so you can see here i have drawn all these lines except these window portions and the stair portion all you need to do is erase these intersecting lines here so it would be easy to do the press pull so i'll be erasing all these lines which are intersecting so you can easily erase all these lines. So here I have erased all these intersecting lines. Now click on this isometric view and you can easily press pull it. So to press pull type P or this push or pull tool. So you can easily press pull it and type 11 feet and 8 inch. So you can easily see the distance in this portion also. Now I will make the staircase over here. Again select this and move it to this original position. So here we can see that we have the staircase over these portions. And before this I will just make a group over here. So I will simply do is right click and also make it as a group. So I will make a rectangle over here and easily press pull it. So we have these risers of 7 inch. So I will press pull it by 7 inch. Now you can select all these parts of the staircase by clicking on this control key from the mouse and right click and click on the make group option. So you can just click on this step and click on M and control key. So here you can click on this base point and click on this destination point. Again click on M control key. So here we have seven number of these steps in this side. Now in this portion we have landing. The landing is of size 5 feet and 6 inch so I'll simply make a rectangle of 5 feet and 6 inches you can simply do is double click on this line and double click on this line so you'll get a guide and make a rectangle over this portion so I'm going to make a rectangle of 5 feet 6 inch comma 5 feet and 6 inch I'll double click on it and click on make group and again double click on this to edit the group and press pull it by 7 inch so here now we need four number of the steps in this portion so i'll simply do is click on this one of the step and click on m and the control key and put on this point now i i need to rotate this so for this i'll just click on this rotate and here on the green axis i'll just rotate it by 90 degree and again move it so here i can easily move it and again move this lower point up to this upper point so again by help of this m and control key copy the four number of these stairs so again we have this landing portion so you can easily select this portion and click on m control key select this step and click on this point again move this lower point up to this upper point we need seven number of this step in this portion so just click on this step and click on m control key and put this step on this side so this is hollow so I'll just double click on this and click on this line tool and make a surface over here and by help of this move tool select this lower part and put it in this upward point again follow the same process by help of M and control key copy it so here our staircase is also ready so we have to put the doors and windows so for this 
you can easily search 3d warehouse you need to just log in and you can search any type of doors and windows that you like and you can easily do is import the downloaded file and use this sketchup file format so I have imported this type of this door first of all make a copy of this door simply click on M and control key and then I'll rotate this door by using this tool so just click on this top view and rotate it in this green axis I'm going to place a door over here so firstly by help of the tape tool make a guideline of 9 feet double click on this side and draw a line over here and press pull this side up to this end so you can easily place a door so here I can easily copy this door to this side and it is not adjusting so you need to do is scale it and drag this center button up to this is so here this door is adjusted properly again follow the same process in this side also here you need to do same process in all these sides so here you can see all the doors are placed and now we have the window remaining on these portions so firstly download the window that you like from the 3d warehouse so here I have downloaded this type of this window and to place this window firstly you need to make the guide so double click on this component and we have to place the window over here so firstly I'm going to make a center line over this so here you can see here is our center line so by help of this tape draw a line over this red axis and again another line in this blue axis so it is our center line so you can easily create an offset by help of this tape tool and we are going to make the window of 8 feet width and 8 feet height so I'm going to create the offset of 4 feet and here also in the screen axis type 4 feet and at this midpoint also create the offset of 4 feet on both sides and you can create a rectangle over this face so here you have this window over this side again we have another window in this portion also so by help of this tape tool draw a line over this midpoint along this red axis you can also do is select this window and type M and control and click this center point and just drag it so you can easily copy this window so here also in this portion we have this window so I'm going to create a midpoint over this side by help of this tape tool so here is our midpoint so I'm going to draw a line over here and again draw this line at the midpoint by help of this tape tool and you can easily copy this window by double clicking and click on M and this control key and put this cursor at this intersection and drag it up to this intersection point Again draw the windows on this side and this side following the same step. So I have placed these windows over this side also. Now you need to press pull this by click on this window and type P for this press pull and press pull up to this A's point. And do the same thing over all these windows. Here also do the same thing just press pull this up to this A's. Now you can easily move these windows. So you need to just copy this window and by help of this rotate tool click on this top view and rotate it by 90 degree so you can easily copy this window and here it is not fit so you need to scale it by help of the scale tool and drag this center cursor so here you can see this window is fitted exactly and you can also edit and delete all the guides and you can easily copy this window by help of M and control key and select this endpoint and move to this endpoint. So here you can see that we have easily placed these doors and windows. But here we can see that in this staircase portion we need to make a line over here. So just double click and make a line over here. And press pull this up to another end. Select all these faces and click on make group. So here you can easily copy this sloping portion in this end. Click M and control key and just copy this. Here also make a line over here. And press pull it up to this end point. And you can select all these faces by help of this control key. And click on make group. And you can easily copy this to these corners. Here also do the same thing. But here we know that we don't need these extra lines. Now select these staircase and also select all these sloped portions. 
so select all the sloped portions by holding the control key from your keyboard right click and click on this explode so here you can easily delete these lines by help of this eraser tool so here erase these lines here you can see this is dark that means it is still group so again explode it and erase these lines so you can see that our staircase is also ready we can see that we have these small windows over these portions so I just need to erase this window and press pull this portion so I need to put two number of windows on these two sides so for this I'll just create a guide over this by help of this tape tool so I'll just divide this midpoint into two half so I'll just draw a line over this portion so I'll get another midpoint at this portion and here also I can draw a line over here so I'm just going to use the tape and double click on this line so I'll be making a small window on these two sides so I'll be taking the offset of two feet on both sides and here also two feet and here also the height will be two feet so I'll just draw a rectangle over here and over here press pull this up to this is so these are the two ventilators and I'm going to move and control and we need to scale this and scale it to the required dimension and again copy this window to this side now by help of this paint bucket I'm going to color this you can also choose any color of these tiles now select this floor and right click to make a group but here in our plan we can see that in this ground floor we have this entry gate in this side and in another floor we have the windows over here so I'm going to select this and make a copy of it by typing M and control and place it aside and I'm going to make it a ground floor I'm going to delete this window by double clicking on this group it is this window now you can easily press pull this side up to this end and in this portion we are going to make a door so I'm simply going to make a rectangle and I'll simply press pull it up to this is and I can easily place a door over here and scale it now this is our ground floor and this is our another floor so here we need to make the slab over these floors so for this I'll simply click on this top view and draw the rectangle over this face and here also we need the slab so draw the rectangle over all these pillars and the walls but we don't need the rectangle in this staircase portion so I'll erase it so it is these intersecting lines so here also we have these intersecting parts now double click on this slab and right click to make a group and again to edit the group double click on it and press pull it by 6 inch so the slab is ready now you can easily move this slab and copy it and place it here as well as in this portion now simply select it and click on this endpoint and drag it above this ground floor so again use this move and the control key and copy this floor so you can copy it multiple times by help of this move and the control key but here in this top floor we don't need this staircase and we have to cover this roof so for this I'll just double click on this portion so here our staircase is selected and just click on the delete and also delete the unwanted parts by the help of this eraser so here just select it and click on delete so since this is a hollow surface I'll just make a line to make a surface so here our surface is being made and delete this floor and paint the color and here also we don't need to make a hole over this staircase so I'll just do is double click in this slab portion press pull it here also press pull this part to cover these holes so it is these parts so here also we can easily copy this floor by simply selecting it and clicking on this move and the control key and drag it here so here you can see our house is ready so you can also see the section of this building so simply you need to do is click on this section plane and click on this front view and by help of this move tool move this section plane so here this is our section of our building so in this way if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe